Hey plant gang, for a herbaceous annual, there's not much that gives you more than a coleus. And I'm here in front of coleus, which is a herbaceous annual plant. If this gets any cold on it whatsoever, it's just not going to live. Uh, a variety of colors. The genus of this is Plectranthus, and the genus of this has actually been changed several times over the last, year, uh, last few years, 15 years or so. Uh, it was coleus was the genus, and then solanastomum was the genus, and now it's been lumped into this larger group of plants called Plectranthus. Now, one hallmark of that genus is square stems, and this coleus for sure has square stems. Very easy to propagate. You basically can put this into moist soil and it'll form roots very quickly. But why do we grow coleus? Because of the variety of foliage colors that are available from this green and chartreuse all the way to very deep red burgundies and everything in between. Now coleus does put on a flower spike, uh, but breeders have really tried to breed coleus so it does not flower as readily. If you do see a flower sp a spike, you may want to pinch it off because you want to encourage this plant to bush out to really show off its foliage because it really does have beautiful foliage. Now coleus in the past was thought of something that was a plant that was mainly for the shade. Uh, and you can plant some coleus in the shade, but the modern breeding of coleus has really focused on full sun coleus, coleus that can handle full sun situation. Plectranthus species or coleus, this herbaceous annual plant, hardy to just zone 10, anything below about 40 degrees, uh, maybe even 50 degrees, and this plant will start to fail. But one of the most popular summer foliage plants that you can plant in the full sun, but again there are also shade loving coleus as well. Here's a landscape tip. Plant in full sun and pinch back bloom stalks to encourage profuse foliage. <laughs> 